So I've made a video in about a month and that is because my tripod uh, broke and I haven't got another one since but I decided I can make a video without using tripods. So there you go. This one, this video is going to be about myth busting Vaseline and D3s. So Chris Tran made a video uh, about this uh, uh, idea so about a year ago I'll leave a link in that in, in the in the description but it's basically his impromptu or casual at least uh, way of explaining how Vaseline in 3x3s work at least these days so back in the day there's been crazy controversy about Vaseline in 3x3s some have worked really well with it some haven't and I tried to test this out with 3x3s these days so what I did was um I took an RS3M 2020 and then I took the track to the edge, one of the edges at least and I took about one or two drops worth and added it onto the tracks but not on top of the tracks but on the tracks so after I broke in the puzzle uh, it felt pretty slow and smooth kind of like how people explain how Angstrom Gravitas effects a 3x3. So I tried to speed the puzzle somehow and I added a few drops of Maru. It was the perfect cube. It kind of cut it the way you wanted it to. It was fast, controllable, some smooth. It ticked all the boxes of a flagship performing 3x3 that you'd usually spend like $50 to get. So it should be a primary lubricant. But if you're planning on experimenting with Vaseline, then maybe one or two drops worth can, like Chris Tran said, create a unique feeling in your 3x3. So, yeah, I hope this is my take on uh, Vaseline in 3x3s. See you. Always question things and always be like, well, why is it bad? And let's try it for ourselves and see what happens. So, uh...